Okay, so it's loaded. I'm going to do a check my settings. And I'm going to do a test cut. Let me grab my weeding tool. Okay, so we notice I don't have a mat loaded, but it looks like my settings are good. We did perfectly. So now I'm in a position, oops, wrong way, over. And then I'm gonna send my design to cut. This is just a stencil <clears throat> for um, my etching project, my glass etching project. And I'm sure the machine is louder through the audio on the phone that it is in person. cut and then I'll be back when I'm weeding. Okay so now we're going to weed um, but this is going to be a stencil so I have to pay attention to which parts I'm weeding because I'm weeding out the parts that I normally would keep. And then for my bubbles, some of the, I want some of the bubbles to be filled in and some of them to be outlines. All right, so now we're gonna do the transfer tape. So I've got it all weeded. You can see some of the bubbles are full and some of them are just the outline. So I'm trying to burnish this very well because I have a bunch of little pieces. I'm going to flip it over and do it from the back. And then I'm going to slowly peel, making sure all the little pieces, oh, still some more. Come off of the backing. Yeah. So 
So now I'm going to apply it to my, my bottle. So I have my bottle. It's a nice little trick with my weeding, with my little thing here. Put it on there. And I've already wiped this down with rubbing alcohol. So now I'm just going to apply my stencil. And I want to make sure that along the edges of the stencil is completely flat. So we're going to put it on. I may have made my design a little a little too big, which is fine. We just will be careful with those areas. So let's peel off transfer tape. Slowly, again, we want to make sure that all the little pieces come off the transfer tape. And if I lose a couple of dots, it's fine. Um, but I do want to make sure right around all my little bubbles that it's stuck down pretty well. There are some pieces you can see I'm just rubbing it, helping it stick. So my stencil's on here, <clears throat> but if you notice, it's not like down. So I'm just gonna go through, and if I lose some of my bubbles, that's fine. So I just wanna make sure right around the edges of the bubble, see how this has bump. We want to get rid of that bump. Make sure it's flat. As flat as we can get it right in there. And this one. If it's not flat, the um, etching cream will flow underneath the stencil and that's not what we want. So now we'll get the etching cream and I'm just going to apply it to my stencil and then we're going to let it sit for 15 minutes. So I will be back after I get it all applied and it's set and then we'll, we'll take a look. Okay, so now it's been about 15 minutes. I am going to remove the excess etching cream. I didn't move it around. I just put it on there and let it sit for 15 minutes. But the etching cream is reusable, and so I'm basically just going to scrape the excess back into my jar. As much of it back in there as I can. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to go wash it in my utility sink. Um, be careful washing it in your sink. Um, if you have a porcelain sink, the etching cream will eat the porcelain. 
Um, it will also eat a countertop and things like that, so you gotta be very careful. So I'm gonna go wash this off and then I'll be back to remove the stencil. Okay, so I'm back, I washed it off, and now we're just gonna remove the stencil. Make sure we get all of it off. Um, and the bottle is still wet, so the etching doesn't stick out as much as I would like it to. Once it dries, it will be more visible. Um, but I'm also going to um, use Rub and Buff, and I'm gonna fill in the etch for that. So let me get the rest of the stencil off, and I will be right back. Okay, so now I'm gonna put Rub and Buff on. Um, basically, you put it on and you use a cloth, and you just buff it in. So that's what I'm going to do um, to make it stand out just a little bit more. So I just have this little cloth that I'm going to use. and it'll grab into the teeth. The etch. And to clean it off, you just use mineral spirits. So I'll probably end up going to get some of that and get this excess off, but. So I will be back to show you the final result. Okay, so now the rub and buff, I put it on, buffed it in, wiped away the excess. And now I have this cute little soap jar for my bathroom. 